Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to use Brother Canvas Workspace, that's the installable Windows version, to make a very simple and effective pop-up card mechanism. There's a couple of things that I'm going to do first of all, just to clear down the workspace so that I get a very clean and crisp view and help show you how to do this better. I'm just going to go into display, hide matte image and also hide grid. So I've got a nice clean blank workspace to work in and just the red dash line will give me an idea of where I'm working to. I'm going to view, zoom in a little bit more. I'm going to start with a basic square. I'll drag that on and I will drag that out to about twice its original size. You can of course set the actual size in the edit box here so you can go into width and height and type them in exactly as you want. Uh, for me though right now I'm quite happy freeforming it. I'm going to grab my path tool from over on the left hand menu bar and I'm going to first before I use it go into my layers panel and lock this layer and the reason for that is because I don't want to necessarily activate it or touch it. Now I'm going to click just before the top line going to hold down my shift key as I move my mouse down the screen and then just before the bottom line I am going to double click to finish off that line. Now in the properties panel I'm going to change that line to a dash line that's now my score line. I'm going to unlock my card layer base that's the big rectangle and select both and then in the edit menu I'm going to use the align functions to center that uh, dash line in the middle of the rectangle. And then final stage here just now is to lock both of those layers because I want to work on top of these now but I don't want to disturb them. Uh, so I need my path tool again, that's this one over here. And I'm going to start a line here and then roughly uh, do it equidistant across the dashed line in the middle. I'm then going to use the right click from my mouse to select duplicate so I get two copies of that line and then I will use my arrow keys on my keyboard to move that further up. I'm going to unlock this just for now and select the rectangle so that in display I can choose zoom selected objects so that we get in closer and then I'll relock those two. I'm now going to align or oh, actually I do want to unlock them sorry see how quick we can do this. I'm going to align everything uh, using my edit menu and the align center so that's now everything in the middle and I need to create two more vertical lines so I will lock off, in fact I'll lock off all of these layers for now and I'll start up here, come down here, double click to lock off uh, in my properties box change that dash pa pattern again and then use the right click to duplicate. Keyboard arrow keys just to move it along. There we go, so that's there. And believe it or not that is your pop-up mechanism made. Now I'll just do one step more um, but first I'm going to lock off these layers and unlock my bottom layer, that's the rectangle, this one. I am then going to use the offset tool which is right down the bottom of the um, edit menu to create an offset. Go outwards, I'll set the corners to bevel, leave the original and yes it's going around the outer edge only. So now I have the actual outside card I have the insert and a pop-up mechanism. So when this pops up it will of course create a very simple square pop-up right in the middle of that card. If however I wanted to maybe make a pop-up aperture that's very simple for me to do. 
what I would do is lock my base layer, lock all of the layers apart from the one I'm working on, which is this middle line. I'm then going to click, sorry, shift, click, and drag so that that is now just over that bit there. In fact, actually, yeah, I'll leave it as that for now. I'm going to go into my basic shapes and select a circle. I will uh, what will I do now? Oh yes. Try and move it fairly centrally. Drop it down in size. Maybe a bit more. And what I'll then do is unlock the rectangle layer and the circle layer, and then use my edit menu to align the circle to the center of the rectangle. Now you see that square isn't necessarily um, central, so that's no problem. I'm going to go back and fix that by Selecting that, 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 and that. First thing that I will do is zoom to the selected objects. from my edit menu then from my layer menu I will group them together unlock the base card layer and again use my edit menu to align that centrally you can see that's now much much better back into my layers switching off locking this group which is now my central area um, and selecting the dash line and I'm basically moving it so that it's coming up to the edge of that circle then in my edit menu I am going to copy and paste and this I'm going to move up to the other edge. Unlock the rectangle because when I select these three things and go into the edit menu and align them, they should now all be perfectly aligned. Okay, so there we have A very simple pop-up card with a pop-up aperture. All done and all sorted without fuss or muss. I'd love you to give it a go if you can. Uh, give it a go with the installable version. I will do a separate version on how to do this with Canvas Online, so do look out for that video if you prefer using that. In the meantime, thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to subscribe and let your friends know. Also, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and leave a comment to let others know uh, whether they can get any use out of this video or not. Thanks very much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye for now.